there are several ways of organizing your email. One way of organizing your email is by not organizing it. Instead, using the search function that is within uh, Outlook Express in order to find the emails that you want. Like this. This may not necessarily be uh, the easiest way of finding what you want. Um, you can refine the search parameters in order to find the emails that you want. A lot of people organize their emails into folders, like such. The advantage of using folders is you are able to find exactly uh, which emails that you want depending on what the category you put them in. The disadvantage is that you have to manually drag and drop emails into the folders that you want them to be in, which can be tedious depending on how many folders you have. Other ways of organizing your emails is by flagging them under specific colors, like such, or by highlighting them as tasks so that it automatically appears under your task list. All these strategies are sound, um, however, um, it's not the most efficient way of using your time uh, since you do have to go through each email and uh, manually flag the emails that you think are important. You can help yourself by creating what's known as inbox rules. Inbox rules are rules that determine how certain mails that meet certain conditions uh, that you specify, um, how they are handled. For example, I have a rule that basically states that if the words effective workplace communication are sh th a present in the subject title and also it's flagged under to my name, that these emails will automatically move to a folder called PAS meeting. So, and just to demonstrate this, just to prove it to you, all my f emails that have effective workplace communication have shown up in this folder. Now, I also have manually imp uh, input other uh, mail into this uh, folder as well. Uh, but uh, a lot of these were automatically sent in. I didn't have to do anything to actually move them. There are uh, other th ways you can uh, work around with inbox rules. For example, uh, I accidentally uh, signed up to Patagonia with my professional email account. So now whenever any emails that have the word Patagonia in the subject title, I automatically redirect the message to my personal email account. Same thing goes with uh, IT notifications. So now all my IT notifications go to a specific folder. And any uh, emails that include the word reach, which is our resident uh, education projects, if uh, they're included in the subject title, it's automatically flagged with the red category. So these are all ways of handling email um, automatically so you don't have to manually uh, input parameters to the emails that you want.